Hello, uh, this is a Narain 3 phase uh, digital control starter model DOLDS. Uh, this particular uh, starter has this overload protection, dry run protection, single phase protection. Uh, it has uh, three phase amps indication, two phase voltage indication, uh, the uh, fault display, and uh, the current taken when it last trip. All these features are there built in inside this particular starter. This particular starter comes in five different types. Types are basically the uh, kind of contactor we've used. This particular type is LTMU1. This is because we've used uh, the LTLK MU1 uh, four pole contactor here. So there are five different uh, types in this starter based on the different varieties of contactors used. So we'll, we'll now uh, go ahead and have a look at the outlook. So before that, this particular starter is available for 3 to 7.5 HP DOL motors as well as there is a 10 HP version as well for which the contactor, uh, the higher range contactor would be used, a 25 amps 4 pole contactor would be used for the 10 HP DOL starter. So yeah, uh, on the outlook, this particular starter has RYB supply indicators, then it has this on and off push button and then you, know, you have this particular uh, switch in order to read the uh, voltage as well as uh, the error conditions whenever the motor is off. So uh, if you open the door you can have a look at the contactor. So as I mentioned earlier this is the type LTMU1 because of which the LTMU1 contactor is there. The main control unit is Narain motor protection relay model MPRW. This uh, control unit is pretty easily replaceable it hardly takes around 5 minutes time. I'll be explaining uh, how to replace this in a short while. So before that, when you have a look uh, at the left hand side, there is this Narain auto start unit which is pre-fitted. This again, this auto start unit is optional. If you uh, choose not to have uh, this auto start unit, you will uh, get the starter without this as well. So the main important thing to notice here is these connectors, the <coughs> blue color connectors. These are uh, basically provided to replace the auto start unit or uh, if you choose not to have auto start unit initially and then if you want to add this auto start unit you can always uh, get a new one fitted uh, without bothering about the wiring just uh, connect the five wires of the auto start unit here in the same uh, order so everything would be easy to set up then when it comes to uh, the control unit as I uh, mentioned earlier it is pretty easy to uh, replace uh, this control unit basically has six power carrying wires and two relay points so let me show you where those wires would have gone. So this is the first set of uh, power cables, these three, and th those are given to the motor end. The other set of power cables are uh, here, one, two, and three. These are uh, at the uh, contactor end. Then you have two relay points. Uh, the first one is here at the auxiliary contactor, and the second one is at the coil. So these two are the relay points. So yeah. if you want to replace uh, the unit, these are the only wires which you will have to replace else everything uh, is wired you need not bother so it will hardly take around five minutes time to replace this whole unit and this unit is also available separately just in case you want this all these features for uh, the existing starter you can just buy this unit and get it installed uh, yeah so we will now go ahead and have a look at the operation I'll be turning on the starter now. In order to switch on the motor, you'll have to press and hold this green color button for three seconds. So we've mentioned the same thing here in, in, uh, in the sticker. So you'll have to press and hold this green button till you see uh, the motor on light here. So as soon as you see the light, you can release this uh, green button. So I'm, I'm turning on the motor now. So as soon as I see the red light, I'm releasing this. That's when the motor continues to run. So when you can have a close look at the display, uh, the second line indicates uh, the current taken by the motor, 4, 5, 5, these are the current taken uh, by the motor in all the three phases. Then uh, you have L and H here, L is low, in, low and H is high, you can read it as low and high. So L is the dry run setting and H is the overload setting. So if you want to uh, see the voltage, the voltage uh, you, you just have to press and hold this switch in order to see the voltage, the voltage appears here. Okay. So I hope uh, things are clear now. Okay. So uh, I'll, I'll just turn off the motor. Let me uh, tell you how to uh, make the L and H settings. So first turn on the motor and observe the current taken in all the three phases. So suppose you have a 7.5 HP motor, it should draw around 14 amps in all the three phases. 
So I'm assuming uh, it is drawing around 14 amps. You will have to set H to two numbers above uh, uh, the load current. So if it is taking 14 amps, you will have to set H to 16 and L to two numbers below. Two numbers above is H and two numbers below is L. So if it is taking 14, 16 is the H value which you will have to set and 12 is the L value which you will have to set. So in order to set the H value, you will have to take a tester and uh, there is this H uh, knob, the green color knob. You will have to take, press the, you know, put the tester on the knob and rotate it towards the left hand side or anti-clockwise in order to decrease the value of H and clockwise if you want to increase the value of H. So if you want uh, to set the H at 16, I'll just, yeah. So now this is how it is. So in order to set the value of L, you will have to uh, do the same procedure to the other knob which is on the left hand side. This is the navy blue color knob. Rotating this towards the right hand side, I'll increase the L number. If you want to set L to around 12, so this is how you do it. Pretty simple. Yeah. So once this is done, then uh, yeah, before that, let me tell you the whole concept of this L and H. So uh, the motor, whenever the supply is right, the motor will draw uh, the stipulated current. So suppose it is drawing around 14 amps. So if there is any cell deposition or the low voltage condition or there is any problem with the motor windings or the rotor gets damp, the motor continues to draw more current. So if it is drawing around 14 amps in the healthy condition, so whenever these problems occur, the motor will draw more than, more than that. So it will start drawing around 18, 19, 20 amps. So what we are doing here is we are limiting the H value. So if we are setting the H to be 16, the moment the motor takes more than this value, more than 16 amps, the motor will immediately be tripped with the reason as overload. Similarly, when the water is good in the submersible uh, motor, the motor continues to run uh, with the stipulated current. Whenever the water level decreases, the motor will draw lesser current. So if it is drawing 14 when there is good amount of water, the motor will uh, you know, continue to draw lesser amps like 13, 12, 11. So we will set L to be uh, at uh, two numbers below the uh, uh, current taken by the motor when the the water is good so 12 the moment the current gets below this low value that is 12 in this case the uh, motor will be tripped in 8 seconds time so tripping time for dry run is 8 seconds and tripping time for overload is 12 seconds so within that particular time the motor will turn off with the stated reason let us go ahead and have a look at that particular case so now i'm turning on the motor again so let me generate uh, the dry run condition here. So L is 12. Our motor is drawing the lesser current. So it is lesser than L. 12 lesser than 12 is what it is drawing. So this warning light will be there for 8 seconds. It will blink for 8 seconds and it will grip the motor. So if you want to see the reason for which the motor uh, was off, you just have to press and hold this button. So it says dry run at 4 amps. What does this 4 amps mean? 4 amps is the current taken by the motor uh, when it tripped in the last. So L was set to 12 but the motor was drawing around 4 amps. I mean uh, this numbers are pretty important when uh, you uh, when the motor gets tripped because of overload. If there is any uh, problem with the motor, if, there, if the motor cable was cut then the uh, current taken and uh, in the overload tripping would be way more than what the motor would take. So let, let us demonstrate that as well. The motor turned on now. So I'll be generating the overload condition. So I'm generating this overload condition. So 2 is the number set but the motor is drawing around 5 amps. So it is drawing more than uh, H value. So this there is this warning light which is there for 12 seconds and then the motor turns off. So the motor turned off now. So if you want to see the reason for tripping, you will just press and hold this button. Yeah, overload at 5 amps. So 5 amps was the current which it took when it uh, got, yeah, when it last tripped. So 5 amps. So we have set H to 2 but it drew around 5 amps. That's how you get to know uh, the exact current when it last tripped. These values are important to diagnose the reason. Uh, if the motor cable is cut then it will draw more current as I told you. So uh, the tripping due to single phase uh, will occur in 2 seconds time. So I will be taking out a phase here. So I'll, I'll be taking out a phase, you can observe the current, so I'm taking out a phase, so it is 0. So within 2 seconds time the motor trips and if you want to see the reason for tripping, we'll press and hold this, it will say single phase. So these are pretty much uh, the uh, 
operation of this particular starter so also if you want the auto start uh, facility you will just have to turn on the switch here turning on the switch will uh, enable the motor to um, I'm taking out the supply I'll turn on the supply and the moment the power supply arrives uh, the auto start will take care of turning on the motor the on delay for auto start unit is around 10 seconds so now the motor should turn on seconds uh, is the initial waiting time so yeah, the motor turned on and then it will continue to run as long as uh, the current uh, is uh, within the set L and H mind so these settings has to be done uh, once uh, the very first time you are installing and you need not worry about this so if you, if you have further queries about this product you can always reach us on double nine seven double two four three double seven four and also you can have a look at our website it's www.narianelectrics.in just in case if you want to have a look at our products or other related products. Thank you for watching this video.